Welcome back to the fields of Bournemouth. Uh, Baron Levi Cummings, after uh, repulsing a Timordan in, uh, invasion of his own barony and slaying his opposing Baron, has gathered his host and uh, is counterattacking into Bournemouth to try to reclaim the lost barony that they lost, uh, who knows how long ago. <laughs> but they lost it. It's like the only barony that have been uh, that's fallen, and uh, they're going in to try to get it back. So he's got his boys together. It's going to be the same troops from uh, Walden, just with a new baron. While they were just finishing up, you know, getting all the paperwork done, saying, "Hey, buddy, you're in charge now." Uh, the word comes to the uh, the castle and says, "Hey, man, these guys are invading your uh, territory." So he wants to get down here and uh, make sure that these uh, pig farms and, uh, and you know whatever else they got down here. Uh, who knows? This place is probably terrible. And uh, they want to get down here and defend it and not lose the territory on his first day in office. Uh, as you can see, a couple different figures on the battlefield. I've kind of modified the units to en encompass uh, giants. We already had medium artillery going, so uh, heck, let's just dive right in and uh, throw in some more <laughs> insano stuff. So there's two hill giants, one on each side. The rest of the forces are basically the same. The two new units I got done for this battle were a group of mercenary pikemen and dun 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 dun. I I, I don't want to. I want to get. Oh, there's the other giant. Um trying to get to them but I don't want to go too fast and make y'all nauseous where are they at now there's the immortals there they are yes oathmark orcs the broken tusk drive uh, the new baron has gone out and made some deal with the uh, dwelling the the nasty orcs got them on his side they're gonna fight like a large war band there's 30 of them so uh, I made them. I've had some colorful rules for these guys. They're pretty insane. They're gonna really kind of stack up like the berserkers of Odenheim, and uh, it should be fun. A little bit. I've never painted anything like this before, so this has been, you know, going into green skin tones has been a blast. And then all the different. I uh, really wanted to go kind of dark with them. So mission accomplished. It's a good little kit. If you ever get it, the uh, Oathmark uh, box for orcs, I'll probably pick up the goblins at some point, but that's not any, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, so they're there, and then a, I don't, I can't remember if I panned to these guys before. The Time Warden forces are up on the hill over there. We're going to look from the other side of the battlefield, and uh, yeah, should be a good one. Of course, it will be Hail Caesar. And uh, the third part of this little, my uh, introduction to this rule set is going to be uh, a cavalry one. So there hasn't been a lot of games recently because I have been painting like a big dog. So uh, I've really kind of, I've got the mojo, so I've been enjoying it. So, uh, yep. Cavalry is going to be a blast. Yeah, that was sarcastic as all get out. A lot of open territory, some trees in the middle, and then both sides are, are kind of trees. So we'll see what happens. A little bit, a little bit different battlefield than usual. A couple hills, nothing really massive. Mostly just a field battle with a couple different things in the middle of it. So uh, yeah, just a possible tactical stuff. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna explore the explore the rules and have a good old time. 14 foot by five foot battlefield four divisions um yeah it should be should be rock solid as far as i can tell oh the hill giants i love these guys these 3d prints i found online they're awesome and the you're really in uh recruit he just looks devastating uh it won't be throwing anything which would be cool but uh yeah that'd be I'm probably already stretching the rule set already, so I don't want to get too stupid. 
panning across the uh, forces from uh, Swathford. They're looking, they're ready for combat. I have to pause in the middle when I hit the woods. I will, nah, sorry, yeah. I was going to try to push through that, but it was an absolute failure. <laughs> and uh, there they are. There's the new uh, Pike unit I saw in a video the other, a little while ago. Berserkers of Odenheim and the, uh, what are these guys? Caldani Nomads. So there they are. I don't think I've tweaked the rules at all. Uh, at least the unit stuff. I am going to expand the reroll range just because the battlefield's so wide to uh, 24 inches. And then for continuous orders, I want to make it out to 6 inches, not 4 inches. So pinch it out a little bit, have a little bit of fun. The buildings are really just there for just to be there. They're not going to play a part in this battle. It's mostly just going to be a field battle with some trees in it. And, uh, I'll probably even have a bigger field battle when the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a straight up field battle for when the cavalry in the next battle. So that's gonna be wide open. Probably just terrain on the outside. Okay, well, hang on to your butts. I'm gonna start rolling some dice here in a minute. I gotta film the uh, intro for this and uh, get it all together and uh, hopefully get it done quickly for you guys and get it out there. And then it's back to the painting table for me and I'm gonna try to uh, paint, uh, I think I've got 60. 62 cavalry to paint, so, whew, wish me luck.